praise the living Jesus. Father, we worship you, we give you praise, we give you honor. Our Lord, our God, we celebrate you for today. Our Lord, our God, we adore you, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. Father, we give you all adoration for today. Thank you for our life, thank you for our home, thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business, thank you for our career, thank you for everything that you have been doing in our life. Thank you for what you are doing through this ministry. To you be all the glory, to you be all honor, to you be all adoration. Father, we say thank you for our life, thank you for our home, thank you for our family member. Father, we say thank you for this ministry, Praying in Goods Network. Thank you for being there for us on a daily basis. Thank you for your hand of love. Thank you for divine provision, divine. Thank you for testimony, those wonderful testimony. We appreciate you this morning. We give you praise this morning. We give you praise this morning. We give you praise this morning. Father, we say thank you. Take all glory, take all honor, take all adoration. Thank you, Father. As we come before you today, we declare today's prayer meeting open in the name of God the Father. We declare today's prayer meeting open in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My Lord, my God, I ask that you arise in your power, you face it each and every one of us today in the name of Jesus. Let your word come expressly unto us. Let it come with power. Let it come with might. Let it come with authority. Father, I ask that today, that you visit each and every one of us, you will do that which only you can do in our life. You will do that which only you can do in our midst. You will do that which only you can do in our business. You will do that which only you can do in our career. And at the end of this day, only your name will be glorified. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome each and every one of us to today's prayer meeting. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are joining me from, I welcome you to the 14th of this month, 14th of this program. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. This is Praying Goods Network coming from Lagos State, Nigeria. Praying the Goods Network is an online prayer ministry where we come together in the place of prayer to pray unto the living God. We come together to pray unto the living God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. I always like to lay emphasis on those two conditions. Condition number one, we pray unto the living God, no more, no less. And on this platform, we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray unto the living God, we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray unto the living God. Jesus Christ is our channel. And Holy Spirit, we pray with the help of Holy Spirit. For we don't know what to do. We don't know what to pray. We don't know the source. We don't know why the problem. And we don't know how to go about it. But Holy Spirit, who know the beginning? Who know why we are in this uh, crisis? Why this problem prevail? And who know the solution? The Bible says, it will pray through us. It will pray in us. It will travel in us. Praise the Lord. So that is why we pray unto the living God with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, with the help of Holy Spirit. Every one of you are online. I welcome you all this morning in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. This is November prayer avalanche, the last for this year. By the grace of God, the next edition, if the coming of the Lord tarry, it will be in March 2024. March 20. 24 praise the lord today we continue i think we are praying this area before but overnight god gives one or two revelation and uh, we have to do with delay so i will go back to that delay we we'll go back and treat it if it's going to take us the whole of this week and you your family, your work, your business, and you are out of anything that leads, that causes delay, 
I think it it's worth it. So we start today. If we can't finish today, we come tomorrow. If we finish today, we go to the topic that we need to treat. Amen. To another topic. Amen. Once again, I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. But before I go into, into this, why let me quickly round up that area. Why we need to go into delay. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Delay leads to frustration. Delay. It leads to why is my note? Delay lead to frustration. And frustration lead to confusion. And confusion lead to disappointment. And disappointment lead to what? Backsliding. Delay. It opens one's life to frustration. When there is frustration, you don't know what to do. Delay opens one's life, one's mind into frustration. And the moment there is frustration, there will be confusion. When you're supposed to go left, we one may go right. Little f- uh, uh, delay lead to frustration. Frustration lead to confusion. One don't know what to do. And uh, that, that confusion alone, <laughs> the devil uses it a lot. Because of confusion, one don't know what to do. You are just confused. You take any advice. You take any step. Amen. Sometimes the advice we take are satanically programmed advice. Some step we take lead to mistake and error. You see some people, because of frustration in their life, they begin to attack their helpers of destiny. They begin to label the man, the woman, who is the helpers of destiny. They begin to label them. They begin to see them as the enemy into their life. So you see the work of delay now. Delay lead to frustration. Frustration make a man to do, to say what he's not supposed to say, to do what he's not supposed to do, to go where he's not supposed to go, to fight those who he's not supposed to fight. Confusion. And confusion, you see, frustration. And the moment that is frustration, amen, is it's it lead to backsliding. When I'm talking about backsliding, it's not only about leaving Christ. When a man leaves his position, when a man, a responsible man, leave that his position of being responsible, that's not backsliding. When we say by somebody backslide, we think of, oh, maybe he left Christ. Not only Christ. When a man is not in his duty post as a priest in the house, as a head over the family. When a woman, a mother, who is no longer in her duty, her position. So today, We'll be going back to that breaking the yoke of delay and i know that today any delay in your life any outer of delay in any area of your life the lord will terminate it in the name of jesus after that delay you are coming out in the name of jesus you are coming out in the name of jesus you are coming out in the name of jesus praise the lord and uh, let me quickly pass this information before we do go into it Anybody can come online. In, um, I think, the book of Acts. Acts 16. Acts 16. I, I think I'm right. In the book of Acts. Acts uh, 16. Acts 16, precisely. Acts 16. Uh, they are talking about the girl with the spirit of divination. The girl with the spirit of divination. Paul and other disciples, they were preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that girl with the spirit of divination was among them, was working with them. He was not part of the team, but he joined them because he was there on ground. Acts 16, 16 to 24. Acts 16, 16 uh, to 24. The girl with the spirit of divination. He meets with them. He began to prophesy along. He began to prophesy to people, confirming Jesus, um, the disciple. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. That, listen to this. That the girl with the spirit of divination confirm that this one are speaking the truth. Doesn't make her right. That this girl is prophesying, is following them. Doesn't make her a child of God. 
Are we getting it? She was prophesying with the spirit of divination. She had hidden agenda. Before the disciple came, he was there. The master was using her to prophesy. Let me use the word prophecy because we understand that one. To tell people about their future, about their tomorrow. And from there, you know, people will always give them money. When they prophesy, you have to settle them. Sometimes they demand for some things. You have to go and bring it. So when an higher authority came, they, this girl know that she's going to, they are going to, they, 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 this is higher power and they are going to be relegated. So the only way, it, the only way out is to flow with them. So because they are not going to be there forever, she be, they are just there to do crusade. When they left, I will be telling you people, uh, she be, you see me, you saw me when I was moving with them, when I was prophesying with them. And people will now say, ah, yes, yes. If you are moving with them, that means you are the original one. You are the right one. So she will be able to continue her effort. Hey, me, sir. Hey, me, man. Internet is full of good, is full of bad, and is full of all, uh, the ugly ones. When you open your internet, when you open your Facebook, you see the good, you see the bad, you see the ugly. Praise it, the Lord. It's not left for you to know what you are going to pick. It's not left for you to know who you are going to follow. It's not left for you for the advice you will take. Praise it, the Lord. When you see, for example, you see a woman who a marriage, who live a reckless life and she was disgraced and thrown out of the marriage. You see a woman whom her husband picked just one clothes and ran away from the house, abandoned her and the children coming on facebook giving advice you see me i'm i'm looking well i'm looking okay if your husband is this shun him if your husband is this shun him and you want to follow take that advice i'm sorry for you the clothes the jewelry everything she put on she borrowed them the clothes the everything she put on they are on, on credit some of them are friends own there are some there are some there are some, there are some, there are some there's some business center, business, let me use that word, business center, where people go, they rent clothes, you use it when you finish, jewelry, just make sure that you do not spoil any of the jewelry, you return them back when you finish. Some of them are into immorality, some of them are into many, many arts that we can't be talking online. Their lives are spoiled. So they need more people. And those are the people you want to take advice from and follow. I can only advise you that you should think right. One. Somebody say, what's, what's, what concerns me about it? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Facebook is a large place. For example, as I'm online right now, people are giving me a thumb up. Those of you who have liked, thank you. If you have not liked, please like. <laughs> Amen. Some people like all my video, all my picture. Amen. Thank you, every one of you. If you have not liked this uh, page, like it. Eh? Encourage me. When, you have, when I see many people liking eh, it, encourage me. Praise it alone. Some people comment. Yes, comment. Eh, when I see you there, when I see that you comment, it encourage me. Thank you. Christian comment. Christian like. Unbeliever like. Occultic people like. Why I'm saying this is this I'm coming out this month this day before we pray. I see a lot of people who comment, who like. And one thing I do about my page is this when you send a friend, I look at you first. I look at you, who are you? If you send me a request that you want to be my friend, I will open your data. If I click on detail about you you did not nothing about you everything no information no information i won't i won't accept forget it i won't accept you because there are many people who are using another people's uh, detail data to open page and uh, defrauding people with it so if your page your your detail is not there your state is not there nothing about you i don't want me to accept that you are my friend I don't want me to accept that you are my Facebook friend. No, I won't do that. 
I need to verify that, oh, okay, this one have an address, this was you. I may not know you, doesn't mean I don't need to know you, but when you send a friend request, one of the criteria why I will accept is I will look at you and uh, okay, detail about you is there. But if there is no detail, everything is just blank, I won't accept it. If I send a friend request and I open your page, not only I will open your page and look at some of the things on your page, if some of the things on your page are about cutting people, about money ritual, about fraudulent, I won't accept it. But I can't ask people not to like my page. I can't uh, ask people not to like my page and I can't stop them from liking my page. Praise the Lord. I've seen some people recently liking the page, liking the comments. I'm not supposed to say this, but this is already Lua by the grace of God. I'm open. I run an open ministry and I'm open everything I do. I've seen some people liking the page and when I check them, they're into occultism, they're into occultic practice, they're into money ritual, asking people, uh, you want to get money, you want to make money, come and do this, come and do that. Number one, those people are making mistakes. Asking pastor so that congregation will come, more people will come, uh, you do this, you do that. They are making a mistake. Because why I say they are making a mistake is this. This boy that you are seeing here, this Orelua, I've seen it all. When I say I'm seeing it all, I'm seeing it all. When I said I'm, I've seen it all, I've seen it all. When I said I've seen it all, I've seen it all. Tell a friend of mine yesterday, I said, for me to drop everything and follow Jesus, I must have seen a better offer in Jesus Christ. <laughs> praise it, Lord. So, please, uh, please, man. If anybody send a message that is from Pray New Goods Network, join a particular something, I don't know anything about it. Too. You join on your own. No. <laughs> praise it, Lord. If anybody send a special request to you that from Pray New Goods Network, you are on your own. No, I don't know anything about it. Too. <laughs> praise it, Lord. And if you see anybody that like my page or that make comment, and you see that that person, maybe in the data of that person, if that person now send a friend request to you that he has, maybe because he is a friend of Pray New Goods Net Network. Everybody are friend of Christ. So, everybody are friend of Pray New Goods Network. If anybody send a request to you that he, he or she is from Pray New Goods Network, that you should be my friend, and you see the person that is a courtly person, I don't know anything about it too. People are sending, people are liking this page. Amen. For some days now, I keep seeing some people who are into diabolic means, liking my page making comments liking my page liking 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 i love it when people like but not people like that not people like that by the grace of god i only know jesus guys i only know holy spirit i only know god the true god and the only thing i do is prayer and uh, when that situation is worse i had fasting to it and that is the only thing i recommend to people prayer and fasting so anyone through this ministry using the name of this ministry anywhere sending a prayer request and uh, you see the data of that person is into fraudulent is to money ritual so i know nothing about it praise it that lord i have spoken that lord bless us in the name of jesus you yourself you are doing going to money ritual what are you looking for christ is not enough for you <laughs> amen praise the lord once again we are welcome in the name of jesus there is nothing like money ritual let's be sincere to ourselves there's nothing like money ritual those who are into money ritual they are the price they are paying is 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 they always regret it at the end of the day the man that did uh, that ritual for them the man is poor the man that do the money ritual for them the man is poor so if the man had to do money ritual, he's supposed to do it for himself first. So you need to think about that thing. The man that is advertising that you come and do money ritual, ha! If there's something work for him, he's not supposed to come and do ad advertise. Advertise. He's not supposed to come and do anything like that because he's working for you. So you're not supposed to advertise that you can do it. You're supposed to do it for yourself first. <laughs> Amen. Please let's be wise. All these people are fraudulent people. I can say it. All these people are fraudulent people. I used to delete them. I used to block them. But sir, how many people will I block? How many people will I delete? So when they make comments, when they it's none of my business. They are the one that have their data. They are the one that have their hand. But I know every members of this ministry we are very careful. Praise the Lord. I only know Christ. Christ only know me. <laughs> I don't know them. So let's be guided. Breaking the yoke of delay. 
today is Tuesday, the 14. Genesis 28, 1 to 5. Genesis 31, 36 to 42. Genesis 28, 1 to 5. 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 Genesis 31, 36 to 42. Please, can we write it down? Everyone of you going through hardship is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. Every iota of frustration, every iota of frustration around you, the Lord terminates it in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord terminates it in the name of Jesus. That frustration in your life, that frustration in your home, that frustration in your marriage, the Lord terminates it in the name of Jesus. Genesis 28, 1 to 5. Genesis 28. I want us to read it, 1 to 5. Maybe they thought that uh, praying in Goose Network is like all those people who are using uh, the name of Jesus Christ to deceive people. Come in on my page. Like, like, like. Thank you, you know, those people that are liking. I appreciate you. Continue liking, you know, but I disassociate. Or how do they put myself from you? I don't know anything about you, too. And uh, people are so gullible. They don't fear God. Genesis 28, 1 to 5. Are we there? Then Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said to him, Charge means he prophesied unto him. He prophesied upon him. He released virtue upon him and said to him, You shall not take a wife, he encouraged him, you shall not take a wife from the daughter of Canaan. Arise now, go to Padan, Aram, to the house of Bethel, your father's, your mother's father. And take yourself a wife from there of the fathers of the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. So it was Jacob's um, father that encouraged him to go and marry uh, Laban's uh, daughters. But look at first three. May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you, that you may be an assembly of peoples. Increase and enlargement, assemblies of people. And give you the blessings of Abraham. What is that blessings of Abraham? The blessings of generation. Generational blessing. Give you the blessings of Abraham to you and your descendant with you. That you may inherit the land in which you are a stranger. Which God gave to Abraham. Verse 5. So Isaac sent Jacob away and he went to Padan Aram to Laban, the son of Bethuel, the Syrian. The brother of Rebekah, the mother of Jacob and Esau. Praise the Lord. You see the blessings of his father here. You see a prophet releasing his virtue, everything about him, into the life of that child. You expect that immediately that we, there are supposed to be manifestation because he obey, he follow. Genesis 31, 36 to 42. Genesis 31, 36 to 42. Yes, it's obey. Yes, it's follow. But do you know that Jacob still faced some, some serious and terrible issue? You know, sometimes we ask ourselves, obey God. When you obey God, things will work out well. My brother, my sister, there is a clause. Sometimes things may not really work out well the way we expect. Yet, you and I are following God. Yes, you and I you will, be, will obey God. Genesis 31, 36 to 42. Jacob was angry and he rebuked Laban. The man that his father sent him to. When he there, he began to talk about the atrocity, what how uh, Laban had dealt with him. And said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin? What are my offense before you? Although you have searched all things, you searched my life, you cannot find anything. He said, May God be judged between me and you. That uh, first 38. These 20 years, 20 years. I have been with you, your ills, your female goats. I have not miscarried their young one. I have not eaten the rams of your flock. I walk with you. I serve you for 20, 20 years and nothing missing. I do not steal anything. That which was born was torn by me. I did not bring to you. I bore the loss. That which years. For 20 years, you see the charges that. He said, you changed my wages. 
you 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 begin to change it. We agree you are going to pay me hundred dollar per week per month, but but suddenly you have an excuse. You will withdraw it. Yes, his father prophesied upon him blessing and gave him instruction. He obeyed it. The man that's supposed to join forces with him so that that world will be able to fulfill. It. The man was somebody that devil. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. It was so supposed to cost Jacob these long years, 20 years, before he will be he will have his freedom, before he will be able to establish, before he will come back and establish and begin to fulfill God's promise for his life. But devil is still using somebody somewhere to cause atrocity, to cause delay, to cause delay in the manifestation of God's words in your life. Today, such people, the Lord will show up in their life in the name of Jesus. The Lord will show up in their life in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will show up in the name of Jesus. The Lord will show up in the name of Jesus. Now, any financial delay, the Lord terminate it in the name of Jesus. That may be spiritual delay. Spiritual delay, delay to manifestation of God's will, delay to your answer prayer. Today, whatever come up, whatever form of delay in the name of Jesus, there may be physical delay, there may be material delay. Amen. You have a property supposed to develop it, but resources are not on ground. Amen. As you are trying to put something down, something will now all uh, happen again, and uh, that is leading to delay. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Any kind of delay in your life, any form of delay in your life, any area of your delay, any area of delay in your life, the Lord terminate it in the name of Jesus. The Lord terminate it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Delay can come from different angles. There is defined delay. Delay caused by God. Delay orchestrated by God Himself. I told us how when I left uh, my church and uh, I have the mandate to go and start church. But God said, you have to wait for two and a half years. He married man. I have a wife. I have children. I have bills to pay. And he said, I should go and stay for two and a half years. I should just be waiting upon him. <laughs> I, don't want to be, I don't want to remember those days at all. Two and a half years. Ridiculous. Two and a half years full of shame and reproach. Two and a half years of, of full of emotional trauma. Orchestrated by God. No one can bring me out. Now, no one will dare bring me out. Nobody can do it. Because it is by God. It is God. He said two and a half years. So I will make mess of myself. To not say I want to jump. I want to go and start. No, it's defined. I will make mess of myself. Uh, if somebody is now prophesying. Uh, or somebody is now praying for me. Any delay in your life. Break, 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 break. No, nothing will break you. Because it's from God. <laughs> it's from God. The only prayer is let God have mercy. When God have mercy, just like the children of Israel in the wilderness, whatever resources you need, whatever you need bills you need to pay, whatever things you need for you to pass through that season that is divine, God will make them possible. God will bring people that will support you at that time. Every one of you that you are going through divine delay, delay programmed by God, either to stop you because of problem ahead or to stop you in order to correct some things in your life. I, uh, I decree, I declare, let the mercy of God prevail in the name of Jesus. Let God see you through. Let God see you through. Let God see you through. I've seen people that they want to go on journey and God said, no, yes, you are supposed to go, but wait. They embark on that journey, they have accident. Some, they waited, and uh, those that left, they had accident. I said, ah, I was been in that car. I've I've, I've been on a journey that I was supposed to travel. I was inside a car just for me to buy something. And by the time I came back, I said, this is my space. The car, they needed somebody, just one passenger. And they said, no. And um, the, the guy that was there, the two of them, the guy and the lady. And they started making, I just look at them like this. I was angry. I pay already. But I just, I didn't, I just, never just give me my money. I just look at, if I talk, if I, if I talk. I just collected my money and I just left the park. Go to another different park to go and board the bus. Almost after like four hours on the journey. Saw the car. Saw the car. Saw the car. Saw the car. So sometimes that delay is caused by God. God is the one that pushed those people to... <laughs> Amen. There are some delay caused by... There are program delay, satanic delay. Delay caused by Satan. That is what we pray against. 
we don't pray against delay by God because there's always reason for you. But there are some satanic delay, delay caused by God. That is our, the, our, our agenda. That is what we are praying against. There are delay, there are inherited delay is still under Satan. Environmental delay under Satan. Environmental delay. The economy of your problem, the economy, situation of your country determine the success of your business. It will affect it. It will affect it. The economy of that nation. It will affect the flow of cash in that nation. So whatever affects the flow of cash in that nation, it will surely affect everybody there. So it's not satanic. It's not that satan. Praise the Lord. Inherited delay. As the, the delay that battle your parents that they put, they now transfer on you again. <laughs> Is it not under Satan? These are the ones that we are praying against. But hear me, sir, hear me, man, today. Satanic delay, personal delay, delay that you cause by yourself. Personal delay, delay that you cause by yourself. Program delay, inherited delay, environmental delay. Today, that yoke or that kind of the Lord break it in the name of Jesus. The Lord break it. 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 I decree, I declare any kind of delay that you find yourself today. Let the Lord God break the yoke of that delay in the name of Jesus. That satanic delay. Delay to stop you. Delay to frustrate you. Delay to embarrass you. Delay to introduce shame and reproach into your life. I decree, I declare, let that yoke of delay upon you, upon your work, upon your business, upon your career. Let it break in the name of Jesus. Let it break. 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 Let it break in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say every yoke of delay upon my life, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my career. Break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. Command them to break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every delay, every yoke of delay upon your life, upon your home, upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your career. Command it to break in the name of Jesus. Command it to break, command it to break. Let that yoke of delay, that yoke of delay upon your life, that yoke of delay upon your marriage, that yoke of delay upon your business, that yoke of delay upon your career, command it to break in the name of Jesus. Command it to break, 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 command it to break. Say in the name of Jesus, you yoke of delay upon my life, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my career, upon my finance, upon my marriage, upon my womb, upon my head, break by fire, 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 command you to break by fire. In the name of Jesus, that yoke of delay upon any area of your life, command you to break, command you to break, command you to break. In the name of Jesus, command it to break, command it to break. You that yoke of delay, you that yoke of delay upon my home, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my career. Break by fire, 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 break by fire. Command it to break. In the name of Jesus, command it to the command it to break. Every yoke of delay upon any area of your life, command it to break. In the name of Jesus, command it to break. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Sometimes the enemy just want to frustrate you because of where they are going or their agenda. They just want to frustrate you. They want to frustrate you in that business. And one of the things they will program is delay. Delay manifestation of the, some testimony. Delay manifestation of a financial breakthrough, business breakthrough. So they will. They will program frustration. And when frustration is on ground, what happens? There will be delay. Because they just want to frustrate you. When there is frustration, you leave that place. I've seen people that abandon their world, they abandon their business, their, their own business, they abandon their home as a result of frustration. Say in the name of Jesus, say every yoke of frustration upon my life, upon my business, upon my home, upon my marriage, upon my wife, upon your husband. Say every yoke of frustration. Say pray by fire in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of frustration upon any area of my life. Break by fire. 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 Command it to break. That yoke of frustration. Command it to break. Command it to break. Command it to break. Command it to break. Every yoke of frustration upon your life, 
upon your home, upon your marriage, upon your business, upon your wife, upon your husband, upon your children, upon your head, command it to break. In the name of Jesus, command it to break, command it to break, command it to break, command it to break, command it to break. It to break. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say arrows of satanic delay. Fire into my destiny. Destiny. Your marriage, your business, your career, destiny. Are you ready now? Say in the name of Jesus. Say arrows of delay. Fire into my destiny. Fire into my life. Into my marriage. Into my business. Into my career. Say in the name of Jesus. You that arrow of delay. Jump out. 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 Command it to jump out. In the name of Jesus. Arrows of delay. Fire into your life. Say in the name of Jesus. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Command the arrow of delay. Command it to jump out. In the name of Jesus. Command it to jump out. Command it to jump out. Every arrow of delay. Fire into your life. Jump out by fire. 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 Command it to jump out. Arrows of delay. Fire into your life. Fire into your home. Fire into your marriage. Fire into your business. Fire into your career. Command it to jump out. In the name of Jesus. Command it to jump out. Command it to jump out. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Look, look at Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Verse 5. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Arrows of delay, arrows of frustration that flies by day. They are spiritual. They just need to blow it into the into the air. The spiritualist people, they will tell you, they call it energy. The energy of the sun, the energy of the moon, the energy of the air. They just program it. When they program it into the sun, unless the sun did not touch that person, unless the rays of sun did not come out. Some, some diabolic people, when they want to shut down a business, a, a, a booming, a vibrant, a business that is doing well. When they want to shut it down, to make some incantation, early in the morning, they will program it into the sun and tie it to that day, a particular day, and the sun of that day. In the morning, they speak into the sun. As this sun is coming out today, the glory of social so business. And uh, as it went down today, unless they can have we can have this kind of day again. Can we have the same day again? No. Today is 14 now. Tomorrow is 15. You can never, never have uh, November 14, 2023 again. The next November will be 2024. So when that sun is out, it, it, it represents the business of that person. But suddenly, the sun of that day, the moment the sun goes down, the business will liquidate. Unless if that person is a prayer person. That hold on to God. That will be shaken. Yes, you hear me. That will be shaken. But because he hold on to God, God will sustain that business at the end. That is, is that not an arrow? There are some they program to the moon. There are some they just speak. All of you watch African magic. <laughs> what you watch on African magic, their life story. You just need to make some condition and blow it to the air. And you breathe in here, in and out. Nor the pestilence that was in darkness, or destruction that lay waste at noonday, at noonday, destruction, unless the air did not enter that home, unless the air did not enter that, that environment. Everything, every that man uh, say in the name of Jesus, say every arrow of delay, every arrow of frustration, fire into my life, fire into my home, fire into my work, you that arrow of frustration. You that arrow of delay, say jump out by fire in the name of Jesus. Jump out, jump out, jump out. Every arrow of frustration, fire into my life, fire into my destiny, fire into my home, fire into my marriage, fire into my work, fire into my wife, fire into my children. What about your husband? Command it to jump out in the name of Jesus. Jump out, jump out, jump out. You that arrows of delay, you that arrow of frustration, jump out by fire, 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 jump out, 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 jump out,
in the name of Jesus. Command it to jump out. 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 Every hour of delay, every hour of frustration, program it to your life. Command it to jump out. Program it to your marriage. Command it to jump out. Program it to your business. Command it to jump out. Every hour of frustration, jump out by fire. 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 Command the arrow to jump out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say chains of stagnation. Chains. What is a chains? Combination of many rings. And they use it to tie things down. Say every chains of stagnation holding me down. Holding my business down, holding my marriage down, holding my efforts down. You that chain of stagnation, you that chain of delay, you that chain of frustration, break by fire, 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 break by fire. Every chain of delay, every chain of stagnation, every chain of frustration upon your life, upon your leg, upon your business, upon your home. Upon your husband, upon your wife, command that chain to break in the name of Jesus. Command it to break, command it to break, command it to break. Chain of delay, chains of stagnation upon your destiny, upon your work, upon your business. Command it to break, break by fire, 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 break by fire. You that chain of delay, you that chain of frustration upon my destiny, break by fire in the name of Jesus, break by fire. Command it to break. Command it to break. Command it to break. Chain of delay. Chain of frustration. Chain of setback. Chain of reproach. Chain of delay. Upon the work of your hand. Holding you down. Command it to break. Every chain of delay that any man place upon your head.